Christ has a poem in here that takes us right into the sounds of the sea. I'm just going to share that in another poem, but also share a poem that's in this issue by Charles Leggett, who at this very moment is probably on the stage at the Intimum, so he can't be here. He's an actor. So Larry is going to share his piece too. Let's hear it for Larry. Thank you. It's an honor and pleasure to be here in this fine, classy, handsome magazine again. This is uh, called Summer in Philly, 1985. <laughs> here in the black part of town, Germantown, the streets are dead as if everyone had been slain by the heat. Smells loiter, wander, waft. Popeye's chicken plods heavily down the street. Dumpsters, cans, the sidewalk surrounding reek. Music from a passing car rides the fetid air, crashes into row houses, long dark alleys hacked to death by high-speed fans. Shadowy figures in underwear and faded floral house dresses fan themselves with folded newspapers, swat flies, resume fanning. Water pressure dies each day this time of year as the kids have opened another fire hydrant. Hunting Park lies three blocks away where I go and watch somebody barbecuing. Too hot to eat, much less to cook. The good humor man circles like a vulture, trumpeting his hideous repertoire and other hot sounds. Some oft-sought cool tunes that bleed, drip, seep from windows, weep with humming air conditioners. Songs linger in the thick, damp air. A little Marvin Gaye I wouldn't mind hearing more of. Michael Jackson's thriller, which I'm as sick of as the heat. <laughs> and the new song by the Pretenders, something I might enjoy were it 30 degrees cooler. <laughs> and here's a poem I've never read in public before that I wrote for my sweetie here in attendance. And um, this seems like a good place to debut this poem. This is called Birthday Crow Poem. <laughs> I fell in love with you again yesterday, yesterday I fell again in love with you. You look wistfully, windowward, at the crows as they came and fed and flew away. Not seeing that one we hoped to see, the one we called white wings, among them. Tears welled in your eyes, they, your eyes, welled with tears, one making a break across your face. He's gone, I said. I haven't seen him all week. No, you said, holding hope. The young upstarts have crowded him out. He's just down the way. The young uns were sleek, black, quick, while he was grizzled and seasoned with white flecks in his wings. He's moved just up the road, you said, abandoning us to them. You dried your eyes, your blue eyes, then you dried, and I fell in love with you again. Again, I fell in love with you. I tumbled, fell now, and like a crow, I flew and fell. Thank you. And this is by Charles Leggett, not by me. Uh, this is in the magazine. And um, he is currently playing Roy Kahn in Angels in America, part one and two at the Intamon. I saw the uh, opening uh, just last Friday. It was very good. Um, and this is a very short poem by my pal, Charles Leggett. Passing through the neutral zone. A blithesome-faced young man walks past me wearing earphones plugged into an iPod, cradling it like a bun. He's too verbose to butter. In Star Trek battles, Doc McCoy would mutter, Phaser proffered in an aimless needling of air in front of him blown blue with swearing. Thank you. <laughs>